Look at the pictures of the plants. Click on the plants that can be grown without using seeds. Good. The rose plant can be grown without using seeds. Good. Money plant can be grown without using seeds. In this unit, you are going to learn about Do you find any seeds in a banana? Most bananas do not have seeds. So, how does a banana plant reproduce? How do these plants reproduce? Can you see new plants growing from the parent plant? Vegetative reproduction is the growth of new plants from certain parts of the parent plant without the involvement of sex cells or gametes. Look at the ginger. Can you see new plants growing from the stem? Some plants reproduce from parts of the stem. The stem can be found underground, as in the ginger. Some stems are found above the ground, as in grass and the strawberry plant. Some plants also grow from modified stems, such as the potato plant and the yam plant. Let's take a look at the bryophyllum plant. Can you see new plants growing from the edges of the leaves? Lemna African violet Some plants can grow from root cuttings. Examples of plants which can grow from root cuttings are oriental poppy and baby's breath. How does a banana tree grow? Banana trees grow from modified stems known as suckers. Let's find out how much you understand about vegetative reproduction. Match the plant to the part that can reproduce vegetatively. Read the statements carefully and click on the correct statements. It's a type. Vegetative reproduction is a type of asexual reproduction. It involves the growth of a new plant from certain parts of a plant without the involvement of gametes. The parts of plants that can reproduce vegetatively are the roots, leaves and stems. Look at the scenic view of a garden. How can you classify the plants in this garden? Flowering plants can reproduce vegetatively by stems, leaves and roots. We can group the plants according to the parts that can reproduce vegetatively. Let's look at the garden again. How do you classify the plants in the garden? The plants can be classified into flowering plants and non-flowering plants.
Another way of classifying plants is according to the parts that can reproduce vegetatively. Vegetatively. Which plant is correctly matched with its vegetative part? Click on true or and leaves. Flowering plants are. Flowering plants are classified according to the parts that can reproduce vegetatively, that are stems, roots, and leaves. Have you ever seen carrot plants being produced from slices of carrots and not from their seeds? These carrot plants are grown in a conical flask or test tube. Do you know how it is done? Through research, scientists are able to produce new techniques in vegetative reproduction. Some of these techniques are grafting and tissue culture. Let's look at tissue culture. Tissue culture is a technique used to reproduce plants from the parent plant tissues. Scientists are able to grow plants using suitable medium in a test tube. The suitable medium should have all the nutrients, vitamins, and substances to support growth, and it must be free from microorganisms. Let's take a look at the process of tissue culture. First, a parent plant with good qualities is chosen. Next, tissues are extracted from the plant and placed in a test tube. Then, a new plantlet or daughter plant is formed. The daughter plants produced are identical to that of the parent plant. Finally, the plantlet is transferred into sterile soil. This technique can be used to mass produce crops. Fruit trees and flowering plants. The benefits of using tissue culture are: large numbers of new plants are produced in a short period of time. New plants produced are identical to their parent plants. New plants are more resistant to diseases because only the good plants are selected for tissue culture. This technique can be used to mass produce crops, fruit trees, and flowering plants like orchids. Let's look at the carrot culture again. Have you seen carrot plants being produced from slices of carrots and not from their seeds? How are these done? This process involves tissue culture technique, where the carrot's tissue is cultured in a medium to produce a new plant without fertilization. Drag and drop the pictures into their correct places to get the sequence of tissue culture of a durian tree. Why is plant tissue culture considered a time production better than using? Research in vegetative reproduction has led scientists to grow plants from tissues of the parent plants. This technique is called tissue culture. Large numbers of new plants can be produced in a short period of time with this technique. New plants produced are identical to their parent plants. This technique can be used to mass produce crops. Fruit trees and flowering plants. Which of the following is true?
Click on one of the questions to see the answer. Look at the bryophyllum leaf, money plant, and aloe vera plant. New plants can be produced from certain parts of the parent plant without involving the gametes. The parts of plants that can reproduce vegetatively are the stem, leaf, and root. Flowering plants are classified according to what structure is used to reproduce vegetatively, such as stems, roots, and leaves. Examples of plants classified according to asexual reproduction by stem are ginger, yam, potato, banana plant, and grass. Examples of reproduction by leaf are the bryophyllum leaf, lemna, and kalanchoe. Examples of plants that can reproduce by roots are poppy plant and baby's breath. What is the application of research carried out on vegetative reproduction in agriculture? Tissue culture is a research that has been carried out on vegetative reproduction. This technique involves growing plants from tissues of the parent plants. Large numbers of new plants can be produced in a short period of time with this technique. The new plants produced are identical to the parent plants. This technique can be used to mass produce crops, fruit trees and flowering plants. Let us look at another method of asexual reproduction in flowering plants. Bud grafting is a popular technique used in agriculture. In groups, Discuss what you observed in each step shown in the diagram. Have you ever heard about biotechnology? Biotechnology is not a new science. Brewing and bread making are the old biotechnologies. The modern version of biotechnology involves modern techniques such as genetic engineering. Biotechnologists are able to modify genes and create useful products for pharmaceutical and agricultural use. Can you name things, phenomena or scenarios in your everyday life that involves biotechnology? Find out more and discuss.